I think that long, uh, there are a lot of reason to launch rockets from from the sea. There are uh, range reasons that you know nothing uh, will follow on the you know countries and and cities. Uh, you have uh, you have flexibility to take the inclination that you want if you want to reach certain orbits, yeah. which you you don't necessarily have this uh, flexibility from the ground based yeah, launch right. site. So there are, there, are, there are many there are many reasons uh, in terms of uh, uh, so uh, SpaceX would be uh, would be would be introducing Starship as as um, fully reusable. Uh, launch vehicle uh, probably well dip, we, we don't have the the clarity and the, on what are the costs of this launch system so it will depend so probably the investments in, in developing these launch systems were huge so it, it has to be proven that you know the, the cadence of launches will allow the company to uh, to, to get their investments back. I think the, the major challenge is uh, the, that you are far away from, from uh, you know, warehouses and uh, uh, factories where you can, if you need some spares. This was already experienced by, by, by Sp SpaceX when they started launching Falcon 1. They started launching Falcon 1 from, not from, from a ship, but from an island. Yeah. So Kwajalein yeah. Island in, in, the, in, the, in the middle of nowhere in Pacific Ocean. And what they have been telling uh, is that it's, uh, it's really difficult to, to if, if you have different components or you need some specialists, it's just logistics-wise, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite painful.